Now, so fast forwarding from 2002 to 2006, when Maurizio and you made the comeback, mm -hmm. and your the whatever whatever sort of informed the decision. Okay. You didn't com you, you didn't compete that no. season. Just show up. You just showed up in Torino. So what's happening? What, what was that about? It was a little weird because we were working already from 2001 for the um, Olympic. Uh, um, uh, organizing committee of Torino, okay. uh, like a testimonial. So we did a lot of job with them in the schools uh, uh, in uh, around the region of Piemonte and also in Italy okay. to promote the Olympic Games okay. uh, with the kids. So we did a lot of job, and uh, we did also some shows uh, just to pro promote the Olympic Games. And it was beautiful. It was nice time, and um, we decided to add a break. Okay, so I, I was already married, so I had uh, my first daughter and um, then we were still doing um, exhibitions, shows. Then it happened that uh, um, it, it was a call from the um, Olympic Organizing Committee to uh, do a show in the Palavela, in the ice rink, Olympic ice rink, yeah. uh, because it was the opening ceremony for for this rink it was finished and they would like to have an, a special exhibitions and they called just us it was like really private with um, uh, like thousand persons uh, but really important person in Italy and uh, it was just me and Maurizio and we did this exhibition there and the emotion I mean the feeling was uh, amazing we we looked to each other after this uh, this show, and Maurizio was asking me already for like more than one year, Barbara, can we we can come back, please? So can he, we? he wanted to come back. Yes, absolutely. And you, he was asking me a lot of times, like, please, it's it's Olympic Games in home. I said, Maurizio, I don't I don't feel that I'm ready to come back again. Mm, no, I have different life. I'm coaching. I was really quiet in this, and um, we had this show, and it was like nice i mean to be there it was great plus um, one one of our best russian coach it was uh, linichuk was calling mm -hmm. me every monday evening for one year from states and she was saying barbara my darling come back for olympic games <laughs> you are the only one that come back and have a good result come back come back and for one year i was saying to her I don't feel that I have to come back, so it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm okay like this. I'm quiet. But then after this show, we and look every, every Monday. Every Monday at Why seven o'clock. I don't know. <laughs> every Monday, even if for almost one year. Maybe she had a special long-distance phone package. I don't something. know. Sometimes I was given to the phone to my husband. I say, please answer because <laughs> I, I, I don't want to say anything anymore. I say already, I don't want to come back. Mm -hmm. And then Olympic Committee was pushing us to come back. Uh, but it was just between me and Maurizio. So we did that show and we look into each other and we say, why not? I mean, it was nice to skate here. Okay. Maybe we can try to have some practice and see how it's going because I had the baby. I mean, my daughter was like 10 months, 11 <coughs> months. I mean, okay. she was really young. And um, I mean, for me, everything was heavy, you know, because I was a mom mm -hmm. in home, busy with the kid, mm -hmm. not easy. But we started with the practice that everything was going really easy from the first moment. So our technical committee came to us and watched us and they said, come back. Our coach were pushing us to come back. So we said, why not? And, and when was this? It was, uh, I mean... It's like, like 2005? It was two weeks after the Europeans 2005 in Torino. Okay, okay. Okay, when we really decide, because the, okay. um, the opening ceremony w was, of, of course, like three months before the Europeans, because it was like a test also for the rink. Right. But then after the Europeans, we decided to come back and uh, we didn't say anything to the others because we took like one month for practice, see how it was. And then we came to the Olympic Committee, organizing committee of the Olympic Games, and we said we would like to come back, so we have to... Uh, stop with this uh, job because mm -hmm. we are a testimonial and it's a conflict so we can't we would like to come back they were like crazy happy for okay, this yeah. and uh, we had our um, press conference there and we say we would like to come back 
So we worked like crazy for like 10 months because of course uh, we lost a lot of time compared with the, the other teams because we didn't compete for three years. Mm. So we decided to have nationals in home like one month before the Olympic Games. Of course we won nationals, it was easy. Uh, we were not in a good shape in that moment because Maurizio had the problem in the back with hernia. So we okay. were not in, a, not in a good shape there. Okay. But we did, uh, we skated okay. And uh, compare with the time that we lost uh, for three years, it, it wasn't bad, I mean, the Olympic Games, because we, we arrived there and our uh, mood was amazing. So we were really um, happy to show to the people how we were, mm -hmm. okay? Because we, we really worked like really strong for a couple of months. And, uh, our feeling was great and we put all our effort in practice so people was like I remember that people was impressed about this mm -hmm. that's why we were first after the sh the compulsory, the compulsory yeah we were like un amazing yeah you it beat, was amazing also for us yeah, you beat Nafka customer you Everybody, beat Belvin Augusto yeah. you beat okay maybe it was home maybe I don't know but still Olympic Games I mean it's not easy yeah no so it was such a great result and then uh, who knows? And then uh, a, a big mistake, just three seconds before the end, uh, yeah. cost to us uh, like seven place, okay. six place. So. Oh. <laughs> Amazing body language. And I'm not sure they're doing each other any favours at all with that. You've got to sell it stronger than that one. Whatever the problem, it's no good at looking at him like that. What on earth is going on? There is a, a sense of shock, but also you sense a, a little bit of recrimination there. And then the, the consequence of that and that stare that ha has been epic and is famous in figure skating. I know. Tell me what you were feeling at the time. I mean, well, I think it's pretty I mean, evident what you were feeling, but <laughs> looking yeah, it back. Yeah, it was really heavy. And looking back uh, when I see the, the video, it was really long and we didn't feel that it was so long. We were just looking into the, the ices and we were just saying to, to each other, no way, don't tell me that it's true. Tell me that it's not happened. We, we were just thinking, okay? Mm -hmm. And we didn't care about that it was like Olympic Games uh, and we were in the television and we were spending time because normally in the Olympics you have to go with this reverence, I mean, bow, and go yeah, out, yeah. bow to the <laughs> yeah. public and go out in Act a kiss like and cry. everything is normal. So we were like out of timing, I think, uh, but we didn't, we didn't even think about this. So we did. And uh, it was like a bad moment in my life. Uh, what I remember, I was like, uh, I was in tragedy, okay? And I was saying, it's not possible. Again, we were first and we lost. And we paid a lot. I mean, in a kiss and cry, we received like pff, shitty marks, of course, because we had like big mistake. Big mistake, big mistake, yeah. And uh, it, it wasn't easy the day after I come back from the were, ice were you, the were, you, were you sad? Were you devastated? Were you furious? We didn't sleep for all night. Uh, I was crying for all night. I was talking with my husband, with our uh, motivator, was with us uh, to help us. Uh, it wasn't easy. And the day after we were really tired because we didn't rest. Uh, but of course we were ready, so we attack and we I remember that we talked to each other before to go on the ice in the free dance and we said we should do it for us and we should do it for this public because it's waiting us. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter. I mean, it's already finished for us, the Olympic Games. It doesn't matter. We work at, at, like crazy for these months. Let's finish with a great free program. No competition for us. It doesn't matter, fourth, five, fifth, sixth. It doesn't matter. O already medal was lost. So. Right. And we did, and it was, um, it was really nice. That was my um, most difficult competition in my career, mm -hmm. but uh, we did also that one. So I'm really proud about this. Yeah. Did you speak with, Mar with Maurizio between the short dance and the free dance? And what did those conversations look like? We 
didn't talk to each other a lot because we had no words, I mean, to say. We, we had no power to talk. Mm -hmm. Believe me, it was like, uh, normally I'm talking. I'm, I'm, I'm not a lunatic person and it was, <laughs> no, no, it, yeah. it's true. Uh, at that time I had no, I had nothing to say. I mean, we had no power to talk. It was a really strange feeling, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. uh, you feel that you have no power in you anymore. Right. And you have to come back and skate for 10,000 people, 10,000 there, then around the world, mm -hmm. they are looking to you and they, everybody was waiting us to understand if we had the power to go and to skate. And we showed that we had, because this is our job mm -hmm. and we did. Mm -hmm. So I was proud about myself because we did a good job and we finished our Olympic Games in a nice way. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter the results, it's so, so life is different things. Yeah. So looking back, would you have done that again? Mm -hmm. The stare. Mm -hmm. Same. You Okay. If if you're I mean, it was really so, so you're, you're, coaching, you're coaching Charlene and, and Mark. Yeah, I'm now. not coaching there to look <laughs> into each other like no, this. No, no. Of but course. if they if they did that, it, I mean if if something Horrible happened. To I, them. I hope and, and we had, never you know, happen something minute. like this for them okay. just because uh, it was not nice time for me. Right. So, uh, uh, but uh, it was so it was so natural. I mean, I was looking into him like this, and the camera was into me, but he was looking to me in the same way. We mm. were just looking to us like. <laughs> right. But it, but but I mean, it was perceived that you were furious with him. Yes. But that wasn't necessarily correct. You were just, you were both... Of course, I, I wasn't furious with him. Of course I wasn't happy. It was already the second, com second Olympics. I wasn't happy. I wasn't <laughs> saying thank you. <laughs> okay. I couldn't say that I was saying thanks to Maurizio. No. Uh, but I wasn't furious with him because his feeling was like my feeling. But of course I was like uh, empty, completely empty and I had nothing to say it, mm. it, it was really mm. bad time how often are you asked about that do you uh, talk about it a lot in, yes. in the last 10 years yes everybody asked <laughs> us about <laughs> this uh, but we are still friendly and mm -hmm. and even after the f i mean we did a free program we skated well and our relationship oh. became even more stronger because mm -hmm. we a, another time we help each other to be like a strong team. Right. It doesn't matter, the result was bad. Mm. Still the best result of Italian athletes in figure skating in Torino. That's right. Okay. Fist so, well done, yes. girl. <laughs>